Hello, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. I continue with my October pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin in the skincare, pumpkin in the kitchen uh, video. So today uh, I just did a steam because I love to steam before my mask. So sure. today I am going to use a pumpkin mask that I picked up at Ulta. But I also wanted to show you that I picked up some pumpkin hydro gold eye gel patch. There's a cream you put down first and then you put the eye patches over. And then of course, if you followed me for a long time, one of my most favorite pumpkin enzyme mask, sheet mask I should say, uh, is the Pumpkin Enzyme Collagen Mask by Martini Beauty, but I don't sell the mask anymore, uh, so you have to really just try to find me someplace else, but the Pumpkin Enzyme Collagen Mask is one of my favorite from them. But I also did find another one. Now this I found, I believe, at Target. And that's another thing, you don't have to have super expensive masks, you just have to look at the ingredients and see what's in them. If they have denatured alcohol in them, you don't want them. So always look at the ingredients. This one has the glycerin right up front and the pumpkin extract is like the third ingredient in this. And then it has some uh, other plant-based things in it. It does have fragrance as the last ingredient. Wish they didn't have them, but they do. But this one's really cute because it has a bunch of little pumpkins. So um, this would be really cute to pick up if there's somebody that has a that loves skincare that has a Halloween birthday and just give them some pumpkin mask. Again, I found this, I believe it was at Target, but I think this Coco Star can be purchased even at maybe Walmart. And I want to say there's other places, but I'll link them below if I find them. Uh, they're just really cute. But today we're going to go ahead and use the Too Cool for School Pumpkin 24 Karat Gold Mask for Vitality and Radiance. And we, all, we know that pumpkin is so good for the skin. It has a lot of vitamins in it, um, E's, A's, C's. It has antioxidant, has lots of sloughing um, capabilities from the alpha hydroxies. I'm just digging my mask out here. And the um, fruit acids that are in it. Okay, it's just a sheet mask. There's a lot of solution in there, so that can go on your neck when you're done. And I'm just going to open this up now. I love sheet masks. I do. I love them. They're like, oh... You couldn't give me anything that makes me happier, except for, I don't know, I think I even like this better than a million bucks. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just a skincare junkie. What can I say? All right, so it is in two layers, so I'm going to put the sheet part down. You can smell the fragrance right away in this one. I'll have to see what it is. And we're just going to push it down on our face. And turn into Jason. It's already dripping. That's why I never wear good clothes when I am doing my skincare videos. I know some people get all dressed up in their videos. Not me. Because I know it's going to be all over the place. So I'm just going to separate them over here and peel the paper part off. Oh, okay. Another funny. Funny, funny. Okay, we're going to put this down like this. Okay, that's it. All right, so I did that wrong, okay? It helps if you do it right. Put the nose down. And I think that it has another, it's in between two paper sheets. So they're making it hard for us, okay? So I wanna separate that a little bit. And then peel the paper part off, okay? It's just a thin layer in there, you see that? And then you want to peel the paper back. Okay, now we're talking. And then you can mold it right to your face. Get all that luscious pumpkin on there. And there we have it. So let me see what the thing, this is from Too Cool for School. Remember, there's a lot of solution left in here. You can just put it right on your neck. But I'm gonna go ahead, it says Too Cool for School Pumpkin 24 Karat Gold Mask. Pumpkin and Double Gold Premium Mask. 24 karat gold, yellow and white gold. Provide vitality, add radiance to your skin, nutritious pumpkin extract, and naturally derived enzymes removes dead skin cells for smooth and soft skin. Highly functional biocellulose. I do like these uh, biocellulose because they adhere to the skin really well. 
Although I do have a silicone mask cover that I could put over this and, you know, just go about cleaning my house. Uh, she perfectly adheres onto the face to help deliver active ingredients inside your skin. And it says leave on 15 to 20 minutes and then remove the sheet. Gently tap your face and let the remaining contents be absorbed into your skin. So you don't wash this one off. It says use after cold store. Oh, you can use uh, after putting it in the refrigerator as well. Use after cold storage for cooling effect to maximize soothing care. And then in the ingredients, it has glycerin. It does have silicones in it. It has castor oil, hyaluronic acid. Um, and then it has pumpkin. It has uh, fruit extracts. And it has ar arginine. arginine and, and let's see, triglycerides. And I'm looking to make sure there's no denatured alcohol. No, there is not. There is some um, papain in there and bromelain, which is another, uh, which are two enzymes as well. One is papaya and one is pineapple. So uh, you got a lot of enzymes going on in here. So far, it's very comfortable on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this for 10 or 15 minutes. Come back, whip it up, and we'll see what my skin looks like. And I'll also tell you what I felt while the skin was uh while i was re relaxing with this on all right my friends so i will be back and then we're going to hang out in the kitchen again okay so i am back with the too cool for school pumpkin 24 karat gold mask for vitality and radiance while it's on your face this is very very comfortable because of the biocellulose these types of masks just adhere and really, really work really well. I have found uh, a lot of really good ones made out of this material. The um, SkinCeutical is made out of this material. The Acure brand that I buy from, uh, I think I get that from Target as well, uh, and the grocery stores. And then this one now, uh, these are just the best ones. The paper ones, you know, you really do have to have something to hold them down, but these adhere so well and they don't dry out so i really do like this style of mask while it's on i didn't feel the normal tingling sensation that you'll feel with an enzyme product but uh, it's still uh, beneficial for the skin doing a mask this way so i'm going to go ahead and take it off i've had it on for 15 minutes and this is where i like to massage a little bit before i take the mask off just to really really work the solution in and remember Pumpkin is a very small molecule. Its molecular structure is very, very small, which means that it will penetrate more than a larger molecular structure will. I talked about this in an upcoming video, or maybe you haven't seen it yet, but um, this is not necessary, but I did want to show you. This is where I will just go like this over a sheet mask and really just work this product in and I go over the whole face. This is very similar to the Nurse Jackie tool, but this one here is on uh, Amazon for a lot less if you really have wanted that, but you didn't want to spend the money for hers because I think hers is like in the $50 range. And that's all I do. I just give it a quick once over just to do a little extra stimulating there. Okay, so, and that's all. I only do this when the mask is ready to come off for a few seconds okay okay so now i'm just going to remove the mask and it removes very easy and this is one that says to massage the solution in so i'm going to go ahead and just massage this in and this is something that you would do um you know at night time or on a weekend where you're not going to put any makeup over it because we don't know how the makeup is going to play over something like this. So I would do this on a weekend, such as today, when I'm not going to be doing anything else and I don't need to put makeup on. So now this is totally absorbed. So now I'm just going to tap my fingers. I like to do this after all of my mask. And it's just a nice way to finish up. It's not necessary, but it's just a nice way to finish up. I've had several professional facials and they all end this way, if they're European. The Americans don't, but the Europeans do. And that's it. And my skin, I think, looks fabulous. It's just, 
And that, that mask cost me, I think it was $2.50. So you don't need to go expensive. You can walk right into Ulta, into their drugstore section. You can go to Target. You can go to Walmart. Any place that has the mask that's a drugstore, just check the ingredients. I know Bed Bath & Beyond, the makeup departments, they have a lot of masks now. But you must check them because many of the masks are loaded with denatured alcohol. And then you're just... I don't even know why you would put the mask on your face because you really do want to make sure there's no denatured alcohol in it. And there are many affordable masks out there without it because I have a ton of them myself, my friends. All right, so let's go to the kitchen now. So for today, we are going to make a pumpkin spice granola. You can make it pumpkin pecan, pumpkin walnut, pumpkin mix nux. It doesn't matter. It's your granola. You make yourself happy. All right, my friends, so let's get on with this recipe. We are going to need, for our dry ingredients, we are going to need three cups of roll, old-fashioned rolled oats. We're going to go ahead and put them in there. I have found some oats that do not bother my stomach. They are uh, from Farmers We Know, and they are sprouted rolled oats. They are gluten-free, and they are organic, and they are also beyond celiac gluten-free. So these oats have been agreeing with me. I bought them in the steel-cut oats and this. They are a little on the pricey side, but it's a large bag, and I absolutely adore oats. Okay, okay so in the bowl, we have three cups of our oats. We are going to put one and a half cups of pecans. Now, you can chop them. I'm not going to. I like, uh, I like uh, my granola to be really chunky. Uh, I'm also going to add, this is about a third cup of pumpkin seeds. I use the Go Raw plant-based superfood sprouted organic pumpkin seeds. They do have a trace of sea salt in them, but I like a little salt as well. <laughs> I'm also going to put in a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and you want to make sure you tap it and get it all out. I usually put a little extra and then whatever's laying in the bowl it's not going to be missed in the recipe. And then because I love cinnamon I'm doing about I'd say a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon as well. And you know I might even add a little more cinnamon. This is how I bake. I add what I want. Okay, a little more cinnamon went in there. So we'll say about a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So there we have our dry ingredients. Uh, we also are going to add some cranberries to the mix. And uh, we can go ahead and add them right now. The cranberries are unsweetened. I buy them at Whole Foods. They are sweetened with apple juice. They are not sweetened with cane sugar. So I like that. So we're just going to give this a nice toss so that the pumpkin pie spice and the cinnamon are all incorporated. And it looks yummy already. I can't wait to add everything else. So we're just going to set this off to the side. Okay, so now for the wet ingredients, we do need to have a small saucepan. And I went and I bought one of these little Cuisinart countertop burners so that I can do stuff like this in front of the camera. Um, I, eventually, if these, here's how, here's the deal. If my food videos start to get more views, I will then set up so that you can see me perfectly in the videos and it's done with my HD camera and the lightings will all be done because it is a lot of work to do these and I don't have a crew helping me. This is little old me. There ain't no Martha Stewart gang hanging around behind me, okay? All right, so if you, you really love these, you gotta leave me a comment, you gotta give me a thumbs up, okay? And you gotta make sure you watch them all, all right? So, um, I have this set at a medium high now heat. Now I'm going to take a half cup of maple syrup and I'm going to pour it in the pan. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It gets a little hotter than you think. So we want to just have this on low. We don't really want it boiling anything. So I'm going to turn it down to the one. Now I'm going to add pecan butter. And this is by Artsana Organics, and it's a pecan butter. You can add walnut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, any kind of butter you love. Sesame seed butter. You can add anything you want to this. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a third cup of pumpkin puree into this. And I'm just going to stir this up, and I want to make sure that I fully incorporate 
all of these ingredients together so it's nice and smooth. And to the mix, I am going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla because I absolutely love, love vanilla. So we've got a teaspoon of that going in. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a whisk. I'm going to go ahead and just whisk this so it's all, it's nice and smooth. Now there are little uh, pieces of pecan in the pecan butter, but I'm going to just incorporate it and warm it up so it thins out, and then we're going to just remove it from the burner. And that's plenty. It's nice and smooth. It's warm. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off and unplug it. And I'm going to get rid of this so I don't burn myself. Okay, so now I am back and I have my mixture of pumpkin, pecan butter, maple syrup, and I have a little bit of vanilla in here and it just smells so yummy, my friends. So yummy. Okay, so now we're just going to pour this into the dry ingredients. And I want to make sure that I get it all. Okay, so now we're just going to pour all of this over the dry ingredients. And make sure you get it all because you want this really coated nicely with all of this beautiful pumpkin maple syrup pecan butter sauce because this is what's going to make your granola stick together nice and ooey and gooey. So now we're just going to incorporate the dry to the wet and we're just going to stir it up until it's thoroughly mixed together and that all of the oatmeal is coated. Um, but anyway, I was saying, uh, you can also use raisins in this. You can use uh, dates, chop them up, or uh, figs. I love figs. Slice them and chop them and put them in. Whatever you want as far as your dry feet. You could use blueberries. You could use dried cherries. Just try to get them where they're a cleaner, you know, dry fruit. I don't, I like them um, sweetened in apple juice. So you can see that I'm really just incorporating this so that all of my oatmeal is getting wet and it's starting to stick together. I kind of just push the spatula into the oatmeal so that it's really getting into every little nook and cranny. And then we just want to make sure we have it really incorporated well. And then you want to have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, which I do. I think this is pretty good now. So I'm just going to bring over my cookie sheet. So um, you want to make sure that you do this carefully because you don't want your, I'm going to just spread this parchment paper out a little bit so that it covers the whole pan. So there we have our cookie sheet with our parchment paper. So now I'm just going to scrape it all together and I'm going to carefully put it onto the cookie sheet. I don't want to move the parchment paper around too much. Oh, it smells fabulous, my friends. And this is going to be so beautiful over uh, oatmeal or yogurt. Oh, it's just going to be so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now I'm going to take the spatula. Let me get my bowl out of the way. I'm going to take the spatula and I'm going to pack it down into a thin layer. This is important because you want it to all bake together and then when you take it out that's when you are going to uh, let it cool completely and then you will have this chunky chunky mm, yummy yummy granola okay and i'm just going to pack it down and try to make it pretty even and okay, just so we have packed it down and this is what it should look like, like a big pancake on your cookie sheet. And I like to push the edges in so there aren't any really thin layers because I don't want the outer to burn at all. So I push it all in and I make sure that it's pretty even all the way around the border. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 and I'm going to bake it for about 25 minutes, but I'm going to keep a close eye on it. It smells so fabulous, my friends, so fabulous. And remember, make it your own. If you don't like cranberries, you prefer walnuts, you go right ahead. But it is delicious. So I'm going to put this in the oven, and I will be back when it's done. All right, my friends, I am back, and the granola has come out of the oven after 25 minutes. Now I'm going to let it sit and completely cool before I do anything with it, because I want it to dry and harden so that I get big chunks to put over my yogurt. All right, so I will be back when this is cool. Okay, so the granola has completely cooled down 
And now you just want to break pieces of it, and I like it chunky, so I'm just going to break it and put it in a plastic container, and then you can have it over oatmeal. You can, I mean, I make Lou toast in the morning, and I'll break it up into smaller pieces and put, uh, sprinkle it over his toast. You can put it over yogurt, uh, smoothie bowls, anything you want. Let's take a little taste here. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It really is. Mmm. Make sure you put enough cinnamon in it. It's important. But see, I have nice chunks of granola instead of just like crumbs. So that's it for our pumpkin granola. Let me know if you're going to give it a try. You can make this with bananas instead of pumpkin. And um, applesauce you can do it with. But I like pumpkin this time of year. I like it with uh, banana. It's very, very tasty, my friends. Let me know in the comments if you're going to give it a try. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Hit that bell notification so you are made aware of all the videos that I am putting up. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.